This suppository is used to temporarily relieve swelling, burning, pain, and itching caused by hemorrhoids. It contains phenylephrine, which belongs to a class of drugs known as sympathomimetic amines. It works by temporarily narrowing the blood vessels in the area, which decreases swelling and discomfort. Some products may also contain substances like cocoa butter, hard fat, mineral oil, and shark liver oil, which form a protective barrier to prevent too much irritating contact with stool. It is important to note that this product should not be used in children 12 years or younger without talking with a doctor. The recommended daily dosage and optimal timing for taking this suppository should be discussed with a healthcare professional. Make sure to follow all the directions on the product package. If you have any questions, it's best to ask your doctor or pharmacist. Before using the suppository, make sure to clean the area with mild soap and water, rinse well, and pat dry. This product should only be used in the rectum. It's typically used up to four times a day, usually once in the morning, once in the evening, and after each bowel movement, or as directed by your doctor. Unwrap the suppository and moisten it with a few drops of water to soften it. Then, lie on your left side with your right knee bent. Carefully push the suppository, pointed end first, just inside the rectum with your finger. Stay lying down for a few minutes and try to avoid having a bowel movement for at least one hour. The dosage of this product is based on your medical condition and how you respond to the treatment. Make sure not to use it more often or for a longer time than directed. If you don't see an improvement in your symptoms within seven days, or if you experience bleeding or worsening pain, it's important to consult your doctor promptly. When using pea shark liver oil cocoa butter suppository as directed, you may not experience bothersome side effects. However, if you have raw or bleeding rectal tissue, you may experience mild pain or stinging. If these effects persist or worsen, it's important to consult your doctor or pharmacist. It's important to note that if your doctor has prescribed this medication, they have determined that the benefits outweigh the potential risks of side effects. While many people do not experience serious side effects, it's crucial to stop using the medication and inform your doctor immediately if you experience fast or irregular heartbeat, severe headache, nervousness, tremors, or trouble sleeping. Although rare, a serious allergic reaction to this medication may occur. Seek medical help if you notice symptoms such as rash, swelling, severe dizziness, or difficulty breathing. It's important to be aware that this is not a complete list of possible side effects. If you notice any other effects, it's important to contact your doctor or pharmacist. If you are in the US, you can report side effects to the FDA, and in Canada, you can report them to Health Canada. Before using this product, it's important to discuss any allergies you may have with your doctor or pharmacist. This product may contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions, so it's important to seek advice from your pharmacist. If you have diabetes, heart problems, high blood pressure, overactive thyroid, or difficulty urinating, make sure to consult with your doctor or pharmacist before using this product. It's also important to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you use before having surgery. If you are pregnant, this medication should only be used when clearly needed, so be sure to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. It's also important to consult your doctor before breastfeeding, as it is unknown if this drug passes into breast milk. Interactions with other medications It is important to be aware of potential interactions with other medications that may affect how this suppository works or increase the risk of serious side effects. This list does not cover all possible interactions, so it's crucial to keep a record of all the products you use, including prescription and non-prescription drugs, as well as herbal products. Be sure to share this information with your doctor and pharmacist. It is essential to always consult with your doctor before starting, stopping, or changing the dosage of any medications. Some products that may interact with this suppository include MAO inhibitors such as isocarboxazid, linozolid, metaxalone, methylene blue, moclobamide, phenylzine, procarbazine, resagiline, safinamide, selegiline, and tranylcypromin. Be sure to inform your doctor of all medications you are currently taking to ensure safe and effective use of this suppository. If this suppository is accidentally swallowed, it can be harmful. In case of overdose or serious symptoms such as passing out or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical assistance by calling 911 or contacting a poison control center. 
In the U.S., you can reach out to your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, and in Canada, residents can call a provincial poison control center. Always take caution to keep this medication out of reach of children and pets. To ensure normal bowel function and lower the chances of developing hemorrhoids, it is important to consume a diet that is rich in fiber, drink 6 to 8 glasses of water daily, and engage in regular physical activity. If you are using this product on a regular schedule and happen to miss a dose, simply use it as soon as you remember. However, if it is close to the time of your next dose, it is best to skip the missed dose and use your next dose at the regular time. It is important not to double the dose to make up for the missed one. When it comes to storing pea shark liver oil cocoa butter suppositories, it's important to keep them at room temperature. Different brands may have specific storage needs, so be sure to check the product package or ask your pharmacist for instructions. It's crucial to keep all medications out of reach of children and pets. And when it comes to discarding the product, make sure to do so properly when it's expired or no longer needed. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance on the right way to dispose of it. Remember, it's important to handle medications responsibly to ensure the safety of your family and the environment. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.